in this video we will see how to configure the global variable in the topic in the previous video where we have seen we have get, we have modified the conversation start where we have configured the some topic variables and we have exchanged the value of the topic variable from the kind of conversation start topic to the another topic where we pass the value and we use that one so in this video we will be configuring the uh, global variable so to do that uh, we know that the global variable are those ones we can use in any topic also the global variables can be the value of that one we can persist into the different sessions like whenever the when the user will start the session of the copilot they will log in and start the one session will be created if they are reloading it then another session will be created but sometimes we want to persist that uh, value into the different session whenever the particular login user is trying to reload the copilot so in that way the global variable will help us to uh, store those variables also sometimes when we embed the copilot into the particular website or mobile apps then we want to send the value from particular website or mobiles to the copilot so we can some say we can send some values some notifications or some messages to the copilot so that we can do some decision making on the copilot or we can use it so to do that we use the global variable where we have the properties to set this global variable from the external side we have to enable it so this this is where the global variables is used we can we we can use into the uh, designing the topic and the copilot so in this video we will create the one global variable and we see the example in the very variable management what are the options we have here okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to create the new topic sorry new action node here that uh, add variable so i'm going to create add variable here create new variable and I'll change the property of this one, make it as a global to all the topic. And this two are unchecked. I'll rename this as a login user ID. Okay. So you can see this is global variable login user ID and no other two checkbox are selected. So basically this checkbox, when you select, it will allow to carry the value of this login user global variable to one session to another session and when you enable this checkbox then the value of this login user you can set the value when you load this copilot into the external site from there you can pass the value to this global variable so this is where it will enable enable you to use this kind this two feature to use the global variable now here in this variable i'm going to store the value of the login user so for that I will go to the here formula then set system dot user dot id I'll store here so now my global variable is created I'll save this to show the global variable id I will create the another topic so I'll go to topic and then from the blank I'll just add some phrases here like Show me user ID. Show me the user details. Provide user ID. Provide user details. Okay, some few phrases I have added. Then below, I will just send a message that your user ID. And then here now, if I insert the variable, now you can see this global variable is showing me. So I created this global variable in another topic, which was the conversation start. And now I'll, this is another topic like show user ID. This is another another topic, so I can access from the another topic. Uh, we'll test it. I'm going to save this first. Okay, done. I'll restart the copilot now here i'll ask show me the user details now you can see that it is executed and it is giving me the user id now i'll what i'll do uh, there is another feature if you go to the 
here under the variable management we are having the clear the all the variables so we'll use this one so for that i'm going to create a new topic so i'll go to the blank and i'll just rename this something like as a reset or clear clear variables something like that okay then on this one i will use this clear all variables when you select that if you go to the properties we are having three options one is the global variable which are in the current session you can clear it there are some global variables which are shared between the different sessions those values of the those values of the global variables you can clear it and the last one is the all the variables whether the global variable is within the same session or the different session if it is shared to the different session all the global variables we can uh, clear the value of those ones so i'm going to select this all global variables okay and uh, we'll reset that value since we are having only one global variable it will reset that one and i will change the name of this uh, uh, topic so it is reset uh, global variables Okay, I'll save this. Now I'll start this again. Okay, so I'm just asking, show me the user details. It has displayed me the user details. Now I'll try to reset the value. So detail reset has been done. Now if I'll ask the again, show me the user details. Now you can see the user ID is blank. Now it has been reset that value. Now, if you want to persist with the different session, so then in that case, what we have to do. So here, go to the variable pan here, then select the global variable here. And then if you allow this one, allow to carry between the session, then even though if you try to reset it, the value will not reset because it will try to persist the value between the different session. So even if you try to reset, it will not do. So we'll test that. So I have allowed that one, allowed to carry between the session. I, I have enabled this checkbox, save it. Now I'll do the same thing. I'll reload this copilot. Then here, show me the user details. Okay, user ID came here. Now I will reset the value, reset okay it's taking time okay so otherwise clear the variable i'm just making sure that variable is getting reset so it has been done so this process has reset the value so once it is done then if i'll try to ask show the user details again show me the user details now you can see the user id is still it is there it is not cleared because that check we have enabled so when you enable it will not reset so like that you can configure the global variables and you can use it in your system in this video i'll show you some another thing that is under the under the variable management we are having the the uh, parse the uh, under variable manager we are have the parse values so we'll see the example of that so what i'll do in the, the uh, inside the show user details so user id here i'll create some example so i'll add one uh, global variable or some some topic variable i can create so i'm going to create new topic variable to store some value so create new topic variable. I'll rename this as a employee, employee details. Okay, what I'll do inside this one, I will store this. I have some JSON value, which has the employee ID name and the email. This is converted to this string value like this. So this string value, I will try to pass into the JSON value. So to do that, we'll use this parse value or uh, feature of this one. So I will store that first into the video. So you can take example that uh, you call some API interface, something yeah, per automate flow or some action you call and you got the response as a string value. And that response you want to 
process to get some particular value, the number or the some string value, or if it is JSON, then you want to extract some field for properties from that JSON. So you want to parse it. So here we can take example that this employee detail is the response I'm getting for one of the API call. It is in this string format. Now from this one, I want to extract all these details. So it is one of the record of this JSON. In the, it, you can have the multiple uh, record, like one, this is the, we can have the multiple record of the different employee as an array. So that also we can do. So currently I'm taking the example with one object, that is one record, and then we'll parse it. So this is the value stored here. Now I will use this variable parse value. And here we need to select from which value we want to parse. So this is the employee details, which is storing my value. I want to parse it as a from sample. We are having the different parsing method. So we can parsing data types. So we are having a string, boolean, number we can parse, record, table, and from sample data. So I'm using the sample data because I have the sample response like this. So I'll copy this one and I will select the sample data and put the schema of that sample. So as soon as you do, automatically you have to create the new variable here. So I'll just name the variable as a uh, employee details parse. Okay, so it is done. As soon as you do, automatically you will see that since it was one of the record into this variable, uh, with, with my JSON sample which I gave, it has converted as a record type of my variable and this is created. I'll save this. Once you'll save, you will see the other variables are created, which has employee details and the, the fields which had email, then first employee ID, then first name, and then last name. So all those properties which we had, it got converted into the variables. So like that, it will parse it. So suppose if we have multiple record, like suppose this is the second employee details, example, like this and we are having this array of object right so if we are having value like this we can parse it example i'll just for time being i'll just put the same value here and then in the parsing here in the parsing data i'll just delete this one because the data type has been changed so i have to delete it so this is the value which is having the multiple uh, record in the times of array when you store that, when you parse that, so it will convert into the table. So I'll just select this one from sample. And then when you parse that into the variable, something employee okay. So you can see automatically it, the records will get converted into the table data type here. And this table data type you can, when you print or you can send the message, like uh, when you send a message. Okay. So let, let me save this one, we'll test that. Okay, so basically, uh, when I type something user details, show me user details, it will show me the records which I have in the variable. After parsing it, it will say it will display in the same uh, format. But, with, but you can use the processing, you can apply the loops because this is the variable with the table type. So whatever the properties of the table we can do, we can uh, do on this variable. I'll reset it. Show me the user ID. Now you can see that those two records of the email, it is printing here. So like that, you can use the variable management to create the different uh, variables and then pass the value. And you can clear the global variables on, under the variable management. So I, I hope this video was useful to you and you have learned something. Thank you for watching this video, guys.